Assalamu alaikum ninjas, peace be upon you. My name is Mohammed and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Utopia. Make sure to subscribe my official uh, channel. Uh, the links will be below this video. So today we're gonna talk about the Samsung S8, the Exynos version. Uh, so far since I uh, received this smartphone, I received two OTAs as, as soon as I unboxed it uh, and started up, one OTA went through, rolled over, and just today one uh, OTA came also uh, to roll over for me to update it. So let me just show you quickly uh, what are the things, what are the changes. So I will show you first uh, the first OTA which I received. It was around, like you see by itself, it was around 664 megabytes. Stabilization of new functions such as DEX and Bixby and stabilization of face recognition algorithm. Yeah, as of the update can include but is not limited to device stability, new or enhanced features, further improvements to performance, etc. So these are the things that I received for the first one. Uh, nothing regarding the GPU, uh, game, uh, GPU, the Mali, T, uh, Mali G71. Uh, there's no update still for that one optimization of the gaming so we have only the latest OTA like you see by itself it's around 425 megabytes and only what is the new is improved color optimization and uh, convenient color adjustment so probably since a lot of uh, uh, famous youtubers complained uh, said that some users are having red dots and etc etc that the red doesn't fit correctly and it's not balanced the red color of this screen I didn't have that issue no no not at all but i would say that the white should be a bit better man the white uh, the white color is not that great if you ask me again for 800 dollars smartphone i would ask for the white uh, uh, to be better man there anyway so this is it simple like that nothing nothing huge at all man so i will probably will need to wait at least a month or something like that for some huge ota to be updated so far, I do love this smartphone regarding the other aspects, the gaming. I would rather uh, advise you to buy Snapdragon version of this one. Probably if you do not live in USA, that will be difficult for you to get. But uh, rather wait until uh, Snapdragon version comes to your country, man. Because uh, this Somali G721, it's not that optimized and it has uh, drivers missing, man. So you're gonna have a few lags in some heavy end games on maximum settings. Plus, uh, if you are a, uh, if you are a hardcore old school geek lover for the games, if you love to play em emulators, use emulators as a PP, SSPP, Dolphin, etc., etc., uh, you're gonna struggle, man, because it doesn't offer you a perfect gaming experience for such a high, high price of eight hundred dollars. So to, to remind you, that's good. What is good so far that I love is the battery life. In compared of the S6 and S7, it's a difference, man. You can feel it. The front selfie camera, I loving it, man. The auto focus, uh, just superb. And I've been waiting for for this one for a year, man. Uh, also, the screen so far looks really good. Uh, some games uh, they can't be stretched. You can see by itself they can't be stretched at all. So you're gonna have these black border. Somebody saying that uh, developers are already waiting, uh, already working on this issue so we'll see what's gonna happen you can see by yourself but regarding the YouTube itself you do you can stretch the screen uh, let me just try one you can uh, scratch the screen with no problems at all so you can see we do have these black borders but you can just scratch the screen and there you go crop to fit you will have some information missing if you have something on the corner so that will be really bad there but look at this screen, man. This is just epic, man. I do have a case on it, so you don't see now everything perfectly. Fingerprint scanner works good, but I'm using the face recognition uh, system because uh, it's a little bit odd for me to here place it. It's too it's too tall, man. It's too, the the position of the fingerprint scanner. They're probably uh, even if it was there, just the different the aspect ratio of this screen. It's a very odd, man. Awkward to put the fingerprint scanner here. Still, you're gonna somehow for longer fingers it will be really inconvenient so I'm using the face recognition system it works perfectly there super fast uh, I uh, the iris with the eye unlocking still needs a lot of improvements there it's not that super fast to use it but face recognition is great for me so this is it just a simple update for the lovers if you uh, for the Samsung S8 lovers and the hunters like I said if you are a hardcore gamer better go with the Snapdragon version if you do not play uh, emulators etc etc then buy with Exynos buy Exynos uh, it is a beautiful beautiful smartphone the best looking smartphone right now in the world if you ask me Mohammed is signing out subscribe you share and like peace